I imagine that we could have done a lot with all the money that was spent on 450 generators, which the, which the government had bought, and there's promises now for 441 million rand for upgrades for city power in Gauteng next year as well. That's a lot of money. Could it have gone to renewables instead, and would it have made a difference? Morning. Uh, good morning. I, I don't think it's uh, an either or. Uh, those kinds of upgrades to our infrastructure are are necessary in order to keep uh, the system going. You can't just shut it down. There's plenty of additional funding from, in particular, South African commercial sources and internationally uh, for new renewables as well as the extension of the grid. So, yeah, I mean, that's the reality of the situation. If you look at... Uh, the 4.8 gigawatts of rooftop solar, that's at least 65 billion rands worth that has gone uh, against household and business balance sheets over the last two and a half years. Mm. There's, uh, there's 3.8 gigawatts of embedded generation that is registered with NERSA. Um, you know, that's another, you know, uh, maybe 50 billion. And there's 12, point, there's 12 gigawatts that... Uh, um, the, the operations will in Lele and the presidency refers to as in the pipeline. You know, that's about 120 billion. So there's a lot of funding available uh, of, from, from other sources for, for the extension of our energy system. Should we be in a better place with our renewable energy, considering, as you say, Prof, that there is so much money in the proverbial pipeline, if you will? Should we be further along in our renewable energy efforts in South Africa? Yeah, yeah, definitely. We were one of the world leaders uh, in when we started in 2010, 2011 with our renewable energy uh, program. We put six. We within five years there was uh, 111 projects, uh, 6.2 gigawatts uh, coming onto the grid. Uh, 